Hi, welcome to excelrush.com. Today we're going to learn how to remove blank rows in between data. So a lot of times you have data where you have such blank rows in data and you want to remove all of them together in one shot. Now you end up selecting each row and then deleting, which is a very painful task if you had thousands and thousands of rows of data. So I'm going to show you a quick trick and then we'll see one more way of doing it. So first I'm going to select A1, scroll down and shift and select the end of the data, right? So you need to select all the data. Now in the data tab, you click on sort and you sort by any one column. So I'm taking the bill ID, which is the first column. I'm saying small to largest means in ascending order. And I'm saying, okay. Suddenly the blank rows have gone away, but actually what has happened is they've not got deleted. They've actually moved below. Now the reason I kept these borders is so that you understand. So those blank rows, there were four blank rows. By sorting, they actually moved down. But for us, it's almost equal to having them deleted. So this is the easiest way to remove all blank rows in between. There is one more method using go to special. So if I choose again from the point of beginning to the end of the data, I go to the home tab under find and select. I go to go to special and in that I choose blanks and I press OK. Automatically all the blanks get selected. I can right click and say delete and say delete entire row or shift cells up. So I'm going to take shift cells up and boom, those rows got deleted literally. All right, this is the other way, but this has a little problem. So I'm going to undo. What if there was some data here? Now, if I try to delete, so this was absolutely a blank row, supposed to be a blank row, but it has some unnecessary data in between, right? Now, if I try to do the same thing, go to special blanks, it does not select those two. So if I say right click, delete, shift cells up, my data has got disrupted. See this. So this has the potential to disrupt your data completely. So using sort is a much safer option and much easier option. Thank you for learning. See you in other videos as well.